This morning we're going to cover the date operator or the date method and this will actually store the date as a string. So we've covered ISO date in the previous video and then two videos ago we covered the new date operator. So the date operator basically, and I call it date, it's, it's a method, it actually returns uh, the present date as a string. Okay, And uh, for those of you who've, who've done uh, SQL Server or uh, other databases, you know that this can be very handy from time to time is to actually have date stored as a string. Okay, So and this is actually very simple to do. It does not take any difficulty. Um, db.testingdates.insert, we're just going to be passing in um, this method right here. Okay, and then when we look at our database, we will see that it's stored as a string, it's wrapped in quotes, it'll specify Tuesday, July 8th, 2014, uh, the time, and then of course what's cool is the central daylight time as well. So that's how to store dates as a string, and then of course we'll now move into how to compare dates and uh, store dates and variables.